Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is Achieve IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your problems as well as mains. So friends, uh, on this platform we also have a series in which what we do, we daily discuss some questions uh, for the purpose of practice for the for prelims 2020. So the name of this series is that let's solve some questions for prelims 2020. So obviously the name has been chosen because we want your participation in it. So let's start our discussion. So this uh, the video uh, uh, or the, the video number of this series is six. Let's so let's see what is the topic for today. So the topic for today is modern India. So we will be discussing questions on modern India. So the first question is consider the following statements. First, Gandhi considered Gokhale as his political mentor. Second, Gandhi did not support Gokhale's belief in Western political institutions. Third is Gandhi was a member of Servants of Indian Society founded by Gokhale. So we have to choose that which of uh, choose the correct ans uh, answers. Uh, we have to choose correct answer using the quotes below. So let me tell you, friends, that both of the statements, that is first and second, are correct. But third is not correct because uh, Gandhi ji was not a member of Servants of Indian Society. So answer is A. So uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi in his autobiography uh, himself uh, uh, declares that Gokhale, he considered Gokhale as his uh, mentor and guide. So Gokhale uh, visited uh, Gopal. Krishna Gokhale ji visited South Africa at Gandhi ji's inter, inter, uh, invitation. So as a young barrister, when Gandhi ji returned from uh, uh, this uh, South Africa, and uh, when uh, when from when he returned from his struggles against the empire and received personal guidance from uh, from Gokhale, and also he include he, uh, he he got the knowledge and uh, understanding about the issues that that are confronting common Indians. So despite this deep, deep respect, Mahatma Gandhi would uh, would reject Gokhale's faith in Western institutions as a means of achieving political reform and ultimately chose not to become a member of Gokhale Servants of Indian Society. So this Servants of Indian Society, India Society was formed in Pune, Maharashtra by Gopal Krishna Gokhale in 1905. So the society organized many campaigns to promote education, sanitation, health care and fight the social evils of untouchability and discrimination, alcoholism, poverty, oppression of women and domestic abuse. So the publication of Fitvada, the organ of the society in English, uh, uh, from Nagpur commenced in 1911. So please note this. This is very important. Which uh, uh, often UPSC has the habit of asking uh, that uh, which which uh, which, uh, which, uh, which which publication was of which society. So please note that. Note it. Hitwada was the publication of a uh, servant of India Society. So now let's move to the next question. Next is in 1893. The split of in in, in split in Arya Samaj happened on the issue of. A. Converting people from other faiths to Hinduism B. Vedic sanctity of widow remarriage and its social status C. Medium of promotion of Arya Samaj idea D. None of the above So friends, uh, most of you uh, people will choose C option But let me tell you friends that please note here the word 1893 So the answer is D. None of the above So Samaj split into in two in Punjab after 1893 on the question of eating meat Please note it on the question of eating meat so the group that refrained from uh, meat was called the Mahatma group and the one that favoring meat was uh, uh, was non-cultured party. So uh, RS Samaj is a religious reform movement that was founded by Dayanand Saraswati also known as Swam, uh, Swami. So in 1975 he promoted the Vedya, Vedas. So he emphasized the ideals of Brahmacharya that is chastity for priests. So he died in 1883 and RS Samaj grew after his death mainly in Punjab. So this was the second question and let's move to the next question. Next is the Indigo Blue Revolution, oh sorry, rebellion 1859 was caused due to a harsh agri-economic agri conditions under which indigo cultivators were put by British planters, the collapse of international prices of indigo which resulted in large-scale farmer suicides, see indigo cultivators not receiving any loan and support from British planted planters, the acquisition of cultivable indigo land by British industrial projects. So friends, let me tell you that the answer is A. So this was harsh, agri as well as economic conditions in which indigo cultivators were put by British planters. So indigo planting started in Bengal as early as 1777. So the first uh, 
planted by one British Louis Bonard. So when the British power expanded, the indigo planting plantation also expanded. So it was emphasized by indigo planting was emphasized because blue dye was in great demand in Europe. So the peasants were compelled to plant indigo rather than the food crops. So peasants were provided loans called the don for indigo planting, which was at very high interest rate. And indigo farmers received very low returns for these crops which they planted because in uh, advance it, uh, uh, the 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 supply of uh, the these indigo uh, indigo was secured by British planters who gave them the loan. So they uh, the farmers were forced to sell them uh, these uh, these the, 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 their product their crop to them at very low cost. So the land also degraded under the uh, which was under the cultivation of indigo for any further crop. So the contract conditions under which indigo planters kept the cultivators were very harsh, and loan made the people indebted and resulted in a rebellion called indigo rebellion. So now let's move to the next question. Next is the demand for a constituent assembly was first made made uh, by the Indian National Congress in 1934 uh, at Karachi session of the Indian National Congress after the non-cooperation movement was withdrawn these, after the Simon Commission reached India. So friends, the answer is A by the Indian National Congress in 1934. So Amon Roy had put forth the idea of constituent assembly of uh, India in 1934. Later INC also demanded it. So option A is correct. You can eliminate Karachi session and Simon Commission as they all happened before the demand for constituent assembly was made by INC. So also then during the second world war this assertion for independent constituent assembly formed only of Indians gained uh, momentum and uh, this was convened in December 1946. So you might be aware of the fact that between December 1946 and November 1949 constituent assembly drafted a constitution, constitution for independent India. So now let's move to the next question. Next is which of the following were the causes behind the launch of the non-cooperation movement? First Punjab wrongs of 1919, the second throne, the third is resentment with Rollet Act. So we have to choose that which of these uh, uh, above is correct. Let me tell you friends that all of these were responsible for the launch of non-cooperation movement by Mahatma Gandhi. So uh, in 1919, Gandhiji gave the call of Satyagraha against the Rollet Act and the which the British had just passed. So this act curbed the fundamental rights such as for freedom of expression and strengthened the police powers. So uh, there were a number of demonstrations uh, uh, in response for that Satyagraha and Hartals and uh, uh, this uh, and this also which the government brutally suppressed and this also led to Jalanwala Bagh atrocities. So uh, this became a part of uh, uh, this uh, uh, roll attack uh, aftermath and then Khilafat issue was another such cause in which a harsh treaty of uh, uh, let's say a treaty of I think uh, I don't I'm not able to recall its name uh, so I expect you people to uh, to post the name of it so British imposed a harsh treaty on Turkey uh, uh, Turkish Sultan or Khalifa so people were furious because uh, uh, the Indian Muslims were uh, were basically they were the followers of uh, the Khalifa of Turkey so they wanted that Khalifa be allowed to retain control over the Muslim sacred places in the erstwhile Ottoman Empire so then, uh, but did, this didn't happen, this infuriate, infuriated Muslims, Indian Muslims specifically, and also then leaders of the Khilafat agitation, Muhammad Ali and Shokat Ali wished to initiate a full-fledged uh, non-cooperation movement and Gandhiji supported their call, call and asked the Congress to campaign against Punjab wrongs, the Khilafat wrong and demands of Raj. So answer is D. So friends, this is all about today's discussion. And if your score is uh, 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 three to five, then it is good. If it is not three to five, if, if you are scoring even zero, then it is very good because you have seen the video and you have uh, at least learned something. So please be positive in your approach. So don't uh, don't ignore these videos just as a time waste. Because if you suppose practice daily five questions and you have nearly uh, six months in your prelims, then you will be practicing a lot, number a much number of a large number of questions, which will ultimately help you people in your prelims exam. Because uh, 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 we can say uh, the uh, the building is not built in one day; it is built by small efforts. So do take a step towards your journey. So don't ignore these videos to ensure that you daily watch them and in case if you are studying from home if you are preparing for home from home then you can you are more than welcome to join our history ncrt series because mostly students face the issue of discipline preparation so in this we are uh, covering your uh, history ncrt from 6th to 12th 
uh, in just rupees 149 so how we will we are covering daily you are given a target and in the evening you get 10 mcqs from that target and all ncrts from uh, of history from class 6 to 12th are covered in 45 days so in this way you get uh, 450 mcqs at the end of the 45th day in the form of a single magazine so uh, what are the benefits obviously you might be aware of the fact that ncrts are the foundation every topper and every other constitution every other uh, coaching institute insists upon reading ncrts and then and also this ensures the coverage of your entire history through MCQ mode and also this ensures discipline in your studies because most of the students they uh, they are preparing from home they, and they lack discipline and in this you will get daily target which will which you have you people will have to prepare and then you have to you, because you will you will have to solve the, solve the MCQs in the evening so this will ensure discipline in your studies and also problem of revising NCRTs will be solved because uh, here we will be covering your uh, all important topics that there will be in NCRTs and uh, all those important topics will be asked in the form of MCQs and uh, in detail explanation will be there of these MCQs so uh, when uh, when you will have to revise the NCRTs then you will, you will have to just do one thing you will have to refer to that document and you can revise the, the, uh, you revise the NCRTs again and again by reading that single PDF so also then history NCRTs are by, widely believed to be the most comprehensive among the, all the NCRTs and also mere reading is not enough you must be aware of the fact that how the questions are framed by UPSC because reading is also done by a person who is studying in 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th or 11th, 12th class so and also some people read due to the habit of or hobby of reading so what uh, you must you must prepare in a manner that your reading must be different from others so that reading um, difference only comes when you get an idea about how questions are framed and how you, you get an idea only when you solve the questions you practice the questions and also other thing is the discipline preparation gives you much needed self confidence because uh, if you are uh, preparing from home and, and if you are not disciplined at, and if you are uh, running from one book to other book then obviously it is a waste of time so don't waste your time and also now is the best time to start because problems is just six months away so I don't know if you are waiting for anything uh, uh, but but that thing is so if in case you are interested to join then do ensure that you check the description box because this link that is shown on your screen of join now that is that is available in description box so you can check check the description box and can join our initiative by by using that link so this is all about friends today's video also in the description box we have our, we have given the link of our telegram channel we, where we have more than 15,000 subscribers so who are following us and are getting access to various public resources that we people share for the purpose of CSC preparation so if you want to be part of that group then you are more than welcome to join because there you can get access to various public resources that we have for the purpose of CSC pre preparation and also this PDF of these MCQs that we have discussed today will be posted in that telegram channel then do ensure that you so do ensure that you check the description box and uh, and join our telegram channel so this is all about friends today's video thank you have a very nice day ahead